Hello and welcome to Fast Forward. This is the series in which we've challenged three schools from the West Midlands to design a concept sports car. They've been given lots of help from experts from across the region. We've been following their progress and have been impressed by what we've seen so far. They've been learning about all aspects of car design and today they're getting to grips with computer-aided design, also known as CAD, at the Frankly City Learning Centre in Birmingham. The youngsters from Lordswood School are using computers to create a 3D version of their concept sports car. So we're going to zoom in into this area so that we can work on that line there. So to zoom in is Shift Z. A scale model of each of the three cars will be made at Aston University and presented to the judges. Using a PowerPoint presentation, the youngsters will aim to impress the panel with their designs. We've decided to call it Chase Jace because the name has all our initials in it and it kind of outlines everything that we want to achieve with the car. And in the slideshow, like for example, we've got a slide called the B, which is about the colour scheme, environmentally friendly paint and things like that. And then again, we've got about stinging the tail, which kind of outlines how it's safe. Because obviously having such a nice like car, everyone is going to want to have one like it. And so it increases the chances of it getting stolen. So we've, had, um, we've developed a really good system to prevent that happening. The Frankly City Learning Centre works with 20 secondary schools in the Midlands. Bob Rose is an expert in computer-aided design and manufacturing. He says when you're designing a car, don't forget the basics. You need to know the overall size of the car that you're going to be drawing. That sounds very obvious. Um, you also need to be looking at proportions, proportions of the bonnet, um, the space that the people are going into, make sure that people will fit into there. It's got to be a practical car as well as a conceptual car. It's no good if you can't drive it on the road. Over at Woodway Park School in Coventry, they're putting the finishing touches on their sports car. This is our car design, um, which has all the dimensions of all the different parts of the car, like the wheels, the bonnet, the boots, the windows and all that. This is the back of the car, which has the indicators and the lot and the brake lights and the back number plate. And this is the top view of the car with the side panels and where the two people will sit. We've we decided to make a two-seater car because it's most sport-like. Over the last few months, the girls have said their car would be bright pink. The boys preferred a sleek black finish. You were so desperate to have a pink car. Are you disappointed? No, not really, because it has pink in it and it has purple as well. When you say it's got pink in it, it's just got one button that's pink. I'm adding more. <laughs> Would you be embarrassed driving a pink car? Yeah. Their racing machine will use hydrogen fuel cell technology, so will be environmentally friendly, but will still be fast. What do you think about the shape of the car? It's good because you've got the wind and the wind will go up and over and it won't pull the car down. So that will make it go faster? Yeah. Is speed important to you? We have to take into consideration the road legalness. If it's not road legal, then there won't really much point. A few miles away at Westwood School, the youngsters are feeling confident. They've worked hard on their designs, had tips from experts from the motorsports industry and are ready to showcase their work. It's like a sports car, we're trying to make it as aerodynamic as we can to make it go faster. And uh, uh, the other trip we went on the other day uh, made us try and decide what kind of weight distribution we're going to have. And what have you decided? Um, back, I think. I think we're going to have it at the back. Why? Um, because if you have a front wheel drive and engine at the back, then it balances out a bit more. And we're going to use light material so it goes faster and it's more safer for pedestrians if there's an accident. What sort of materials? Anything like aluminium, that's quite light, and other materials like that. Their car will also be kind to the environment. The pupils have enjoyed researching all areas of car design and they've had to juggle this with their schoolwork. Obviously we haven't been able to do much of the car design in, in the lesson. So we've been coming in pretty much every lunchtime and designing it then. In your own time basically? Yeah. 
And how difficult has that been? Um, not that difficult, really, because it's... I enjoy making it. Some of the students told me the project has given them the drive to pursue a career in the motorsports industry. I was already thinking about having a job in designing, and this is a pretty good job, like designing cars for a living, it's pretty fun. I've had an opportunity to do lots of things that I never thought I would have been able to do, like um, using Pro Desktop, and it's really interesting that I've just been doing this for a couple of months and already I'm thinking about maybe going into a career. All the designs will go before a Dragon's Den style panel. The budding engineers will be asked some tough questions about their final masterpiece. Only one school will emerge as the overall winner. I'm just glad I won't be the one who makes that decision.